Hello everybody, it's me, Sasha Luca Coran, and today we're actually doing a little introduction to a later on series for Sims 4. So I'm just going to introduce a few of the characters that I created that will be in the game. Um, later on, I'm going to work on their houses and stuff, so when I do get around to streaming it, it'll pretty much have everything that they'll need. Along with some few, well, few things going on for them. I'm just making sure that I prepare everything before streaming it. And my stream channel will be at the bottom in the description. Okay, let's do it. Good music. So we're gonna go into a new game, no tutorial, since I pretty much went through all of that already. Okay. The name that you can use, um, personality wise stuff. So you have the male and the female. Up under here has like little gender custom settings that you can add. You have the all the ages here. Then you have the like personal walks and stuff that your sim can do. It, they have the default walk. We have the <laughs> perky walk. We have the Snooty walk, I call that I got money and I'm gonna flaunt it. We have the swagger walk. We have the female walk. We have the tough walk, which is more like the male walk. We have the goofy walk. We have the sluggish walk, more like the I'm sleepy walk. Then there's the bouncy walk. And lastly, we have the creepy uh -huh. walk. That walk is really, really creepy. I, I, I cannot. They even have different types of sounds that you use. So you have the sweet. Pomeray quest. The melodic. Lapisa Frula. Onea Lorraine. Gusha Buenco. Rainy. That sounds like a melody. Ooh, from. And brass. Mm. Not such a bee. Then they have oh, these right here, which is kind of like um, aspirations and traits to go with it. So, you so. can choose any from the one down here, but I'm not going over that at the moment. Then we have the save sim, well, save household, but I'm not doing that. Okay, so what we're doing is going into the gallery, so we can check out the sims that I already made. So, we're gonna start from the first one, which is hmm, this family. Ah. <clears throat> okay, so this is the family. <laughs> we have Nick Skyler. He's kind of white-ish. He's a male. He's a young adult with his male walk. Uh, you can see everything that's going on. He's the dad. You also have like the household re relationships. Hmm. So you have roommates and then actual like huh. family members. So Nick Skyler is a painter extraordinaire. He he wants to be a muser. So he's a cheerful person, art lover, and good, good, just good, straight up good. So clothes wise, we have his everyday outfit, which is this. We have his formal outfit. We have 
have his soccer outfit. Then we we have his sleepwear. Ah! We have the party outfit. He looks mighty nice in this outfit. His swimwear. <laughs> Very original. This hot weather outfit. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna do this instead. And his winter clothes. Okay. So, up here. He's rocking out the nice brown hair with the kind of lightish grayish brown eyes. He has a scar here and his little mustache too. Yep. So this is Nick S Skyler. That's the father. Then we have Luna Chino, which is the cat, the pet, the household pet. <laughs> So she's a uh, calico. She's spoiled. Very spoiled. <laughs> she is affectionate. Which means, yeah, she pretty much loves her owner. And she's a prowler. So, she can sit up, you just check out her sitting motion, and then there's her stand-up motion. And her lay-down motion. <laughs> She's a decent cat. We have Rhonda, <laughs> Rhonda Chino. <laughs> yes, Rhonda, this is definitely your character. So Rhonda's, um, I, I made this character for, well, a few of these characters are actual people that I know that stream. So, yeah, Rhonda's a charmer. She's pretty much a socialized person. She likes to socialize. Um, well, we don't even need to go over this. She's the daughter of Chino. We will get to, like, later on who's who down the road. So, let's check out Rhonda's outfits. So, this is Rhonda's everyday outfit. I'm going through it again. <laughs> that hat though. Her front formal outfit. She'll get purple hair when she gets older. Or at least purple highlights. This is her nighttime outfit. We have her party outfit. We have her swimming outfit. <laughs> then there's the <laughs> it's too hot outfit. I don't know why she's wearing this. I would be hot in this too, but this is something she picked herself. And then there's this cold outside outfit. This character picked this clothes all on her own. I had nothing to do with it. Okay, getting close. So, as you can see, she has kind of sparkly purple eyes and brown hair with pigtails. Um, well, actually, she has four pigtails, matter of fact. She's pretty cute for a little one. 
Okay. Moving on. Alice Chino. This is Rhonda's mother. She's pretty cool for a mother. She's a friend of animals, so she, she pretty much loves animals. Um, she's affectionate with animals. Which means animals love her more better than everybody else. She's outgoing, um, family oriented, and a cat lover. Now we see who Rhonda got that from. Okay, so we'll start with her face on ah. this one. So she has purple eyes, kind of, with the brownish hair. It was purple, but then it didn't look right, so made it brown. With the kind of purplish lipstick, well, purplish reddish lipstick. Get a close view on that hair. Okay, so that's her everyday outfit. I kind of already went around it. This is her formal outfit. I think this is really nice. It's actually pretty. I want one of these in real life. That back. Ooh. And we have her sports outfit. Hmm. Her sleepwear. Very nice for a sleepwear. No, those two are not married. They're just roommates rooming together. This is her party outfit. It's pretty nice. I, I think so. We have her swimwear. Her hot wear for when it's hot outside. This is pretty nice for out, uh, actual outwear. We have the cold wear. I like it very much. Okay, next up is Yells. Yell Skyler. <laughs> okay, this is yelling. Look at him, he's so cute! Yelling so cute! So, he is the son of Nick Skyler. Aww. Okay, so Yelling is angelic. I would say. Okay, let's take a look at his cute little face. Yelling has kind of brownish grayish eyes with this little blondish hair makes him look really cute <laughs> this is his everyday clothes then we have his formal clothes Lower in the back here. Such an adorable yelling. His nighttime sleepwear. I think he likes this very much. Kind of woof. His party clothes. I don't know what was going on here with him and his clothes, but it's yelling. This is what yelling wanted, so just let yelling have what yelling wants. His swimming wear. <laughs> Little yelling so cute. And then we have the hot wear for when it's too hot. They have so many of these outfits for some unknown reason. But yelling really likes this one. Little yells. And 
his code word. <laughs> Aww. Then we have Carlos Skyler, which is Yelling's brother. Look at little Carlos. Oh. So for Carlos, you can't really see his hair, but it's kind of a darker shade brown than Yelling's. He has that brownish eyes going on too. He's a little bit darker than Yelling, just a tiny bit. Okay, let's check out his outside normal clothes with that hat and we have the formal formal yelling well formal Carlos kind of looks kind of yeah. like yelling's formal a little bit <laughs> we have his sleepwear I'm liking those cow <laughs> cowboy pants. We have his party outfit. He wears what he wants to when he wants to. This is his <laughs> character very well. All I did was press the shuffle and voila, this came out. And then I just started doing some touches on the skin wise and everything. His clothes and his hair is all me. His outwear, I still think he's cute. And his cold wear. I think that's a nice code word for him. Okay, moving on to Evan. Well, Evan, actually, Evan Chino, which is Rhonda's brother. Evan kind of looks cute. Evan's uh, inquisitive, so. He's more like the one to explore. Wait, let me make sure I showed you. Oh, I didn't show you. So Carlos is kind of silly. So, so Carlos likes to make jokes, pretty much. That's Carlos. Okay, on the Evan. Okay, Evan, come here. Let's check out your face. So Evan is kind of rocking this nice hairdo. He kind of has golden, yeah, pretty much golden eyes with brown hair, which I think he looks well with anyway. I think this actually works. So his everyday clothes is kind of, yeah, that. I don't know how that works, but it does. His formal outfit. I'm not gonna ask why he has on those socks, but yeah. but uh, uh, Evan, you do you. I'm not gonna ask why you have on those socks. His sleepwear. Everybody loves the cowboy short sleepwear. We have his party outfit. <laughs> pretty nice with that on. The swimwear, which is normal. But Evan wanted to be that way, so just let him be the way he wants to be. And we have, because it's too hot outside, a freaking avocado shirt. <laughs> oh God. And his winter outfit. I'd say Evan is pretty stylish in what he's wearing right now. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna question why he has on a pink jacket, but Evan, you do you. You still work. It, it still works out nicely in this favor. Yeah. Though. Okay, now we have Rob. Rob here. Rob, you what? Rob looks like Carlos for some unknown reason. Okay. Well, that that's Rob for you. Rob's rocking out the same kind, type of eyes that the both of them have. Along with the nice hairstyle. He looks scared to me. So, Rob is an angelic type. This is, that was his everyday. This is his formal. We have his nighttime outfit. <laughs> we have his party outfit. Those glasses, why Rob? Why do you have those glasses on? Well, he too does not like swimwear. Most of my characters choose what they, how they want to be, and whatever clothes and stuff they like the most. Okay, that's his, his hot outside outfit, and this is his winter outfit. He's rocking out with the fox, and this is the Skyler slash Chino family. So you have Rob, Rhonda, Carlos, Evan, and Yellows, aka Young. That's the first family that I have here. They're all cute, the five great. Okay, second family will be this one. Yep, this one. This is Ari Kamina. She's an angel. She's rocking a pretty decent outfit. That's her everyday outfit. Um, this is her formal. This is her sleepwear. I think Ari really loves cow soups in this. Her party outfit. We have her swim outfit. Hot outfit, summer outfit, more like it. Then we have her winter outfit. Okay, so getting a close up of her face. She kind of has the same eyes as um, Carlos and Yelling, kind of, with the pigtails and brown, well, blackish hair. She's pretty good looking, if I say so myself. Then we have Yoshimaru, also known as Yosh Kamina. This is Ari's brother. Let me check out Yosh's face. Yosh has black eyes with this um, blondish hair. Can't get him to smell at all because he doesn't want to. He's rocking the. Whatever outfit this is that he wants to wear. Then his formal. Oh, 
and we have his sleepwear. <laughs> then his party outfit. He's loving that flower hat. I couldn't take it away from him because I felt bad, you know. He looks like he really wants to go to a party in that outfit. He has no swimwear because that's what Yoshimaru wants. His it's too hot outside outfit. He wants to be a superhero. Superhero? Yosh. And then, lastly, his winter outfit. Looks like a bear. But it's pretty nice. Then we have Weezy. <laughs> Weezy's name, for some unknown reason, is spelled wrong. It's supposed to be Squeezy. So I'm going to fix that now. This is Squeezy Minaya. Oh, um, Yosh is kind of, uh, inquisitive, so he's like a detective. So, Squeezie's an angel. Yeah. Look at her, she's so cute. Look at that outfit. That outfit is nice. Let's go through her outfits now. We have her formal. Yeah! <laughs> Then we have her sleepwear. Nothing really special. Her party outfit. Swimwear, she's not really a swimmer, I guess. You know what, Squeezy, I am sorry. But you need to put something on. So we're gonna, you're just gonna wear that. And, and we're gonna do ourselves a favor of making it, uh, no, not that color, this color. Yeah. Sorry, Squeeze. Okay, her is hot outside outfit. And her winter. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, now to get a close-up of her face, she has kind of like a side hair, swipe, very brownish eyes with golden hair. It's really pretty. Her brother, Eagle Minaya. <laughs> Rocking out those those glasses, aren't you, Eagle? Eagle is pretty much silly, making. Goofy comments and so on. She has a nice everyday outfit. Formal. Eagle for you. Is no swimwear because it's eagle we're talking about. Because it's too hot outside out there. And his winter. I feel like. This is something Eagle would do, and I don't know why. So close up, he has that little upsy hairdo with these kind of brownish, pinkish eyes. It's really cute. Um, let's get a view of the back of the hair. It's actually nice for a hairstyle. Next, we have the parents, Yuko Kamina.
Y'all really need to get to know her because I'm killing her off in the end. She's just here to take care of these kids. She's not really that important. Although we can't check out the hair. She has a nice hairstyle with brownish black eyes, I would say. So I'm not spinning her all the way around. I'm just going short through so you can get a little understanding of what she's wearing. Oh! This is her formal. Matter of fact, I will spin this around. Because this is actually a nice dress. Her exercise <coughs> her sleepwear hey venom don't fall in love with her she's married I'm just playing she's not married <laughs> but still don't cheat on jen her party outfit swimwear Nice. She looks like a star. Or this hot outside outfit. And her is cold weather. Huh. It's pretty nice. So she's a master chef with the essence of flavor. She's glo always gloomy. Always gloomy. And she loves to dance. She's also self absorbed. Yep. That, that's Kamina. That's. Squeeze. Well, Squeeze's father's coming up. But that's Yosh and Ari's mother. Now, on to Eagle and Squeezy's. <laughs> He's a good vampire. He's Gregorius, so he builds friendship faster. He's a romantic. He's also a genius and family oriented. This is his outfit. Formal. I just pressed random on him for sure. Soccer. I would not go out in that outfit ever. His sleepwear. Not that he needs sleep or anything. Party outfit. Swimwear. It's hot outside. <laughs> weather. I love this outfit or the jacket. Okay, let's get a good look at his face. So he has kind of brownish eyes with pink, bluish, black hair going on with this weird looking mustache. I don't know how that works. And his vampire transformation, he pretty much looks like this. That's pretty much his vampire transformation. Let's check out what type of clothes he has where he can transform. Ooh. He still has this ugly thing on. Oh well. Pretty much the same. Uh. And 
and last but not least, the family that we've all been waiting for, the main family, where everything is main, the starter family, where I happen to be included. You have the Quran Cross family. So here's our dad, Venom Cross. I, I don't know what was going on with his head with that outfit, but yeah. He's a master mixologist with the essence of flavor. He's also a genius and creative, and he's outgoing. So that's pretty much what's going on with him. Let's get a look of, of his outfit. So, yeah. I'm not going to ask why. But that's his everyday. That's what he walks around in. We have his formal. He looks nice in that outfit, though. With those glasses. His sports. Hmm. Uh. Let's take a look at Dad's face. While we can. So dad has kind of brownish eyes with this greenish wait. His eyes are supposed to be green. Well, his hair is green, that's for sure. Okay, let's check to make sure because I know I had his eyes on green. Eyes are green. I have to bring his green eyes back. Happened, but for some unknown reason, it got rid of his green eyes. And I have to do this for all of them. Sadly. Okay, there. And this is Dad with his stylish greenish eyes, which are necessarily supposed to be green. Which makes him look really nice. We have his winter outfit. His summer outfit. Uh-huh. The swimming outfit. His party outfit. His sleepwear. <coughs> His sportswear. Which you already seen. Next we have Mom, which is Jin Karan Cross. Ah. Up close, Jin has kind of these blue eyes going on. <coughs> With this pink hair, she looks pretty swell, if I say so. start we have her everyday outfit, her firm outfit, which fits her magnificently. So there's like a, a 
piece missing in the back. It's stylized in this, but her hair gets in the way, so it kind of covers everything up. You can kind of see it from the side, like right here. But she covers it up nicely with that hair. She wears that hair nicely. We have her outside when she's jogging and stuff. Hopefully she keeps up that physique. Huh. We have her sleepwear. Hmm. We have her party outfit. Which is pretty nice. Her swimwear. hot outside outfit. I like this outfit. And her coat. Mm -hmm. Then we have me. <coughs> I have a coat, but I can do it. I can make a video. Little me. Oh, did I even go over Jen's... Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so Jen is a master actress. She's a muser. Um, she's creative, an art lover, and outgoing. That's Jen. So, now for me. I am a charmer. Yeah! <laughs> I have my own little redness and style going on. As you can see, I do have these red eyes going that seem kind of vampirish. That's normal for me. That's my everyday. This is my formal outfit. We have my nighttime outfit. We have the party outfit. We have swimming outfit. Yeah. We have the hot outside outfit. And then we have coat weather outfit. <laughs> Next up is bagels. <laughs> bagels is my sister. She's wearing this for her everyday outfit. This is a bagel thing. She has... Okay, her eyes definitely messed up. Have to go back through and fix them. I'm trying to remember which ones were bagels. Okay, these were bagel's eyes. Her eyes are similar to mine, so they're light, light pinkish. That's for ba that's the ones that I made for bagels. I'm gonna go through and fix them all later on. But as you can see, she's rocking out the hair with the light pinkish hair. Okay, so bagel's formal outfit is this white dress. Pretty cute in this, if I say so myself. Then she has her sleepy times. Her party outfit.
her swim outfit. Her too hot outside outfit, which is pretty, really nice. And her is cold outside outfit. Tiny Babels is so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Next we have T. T is our other sister. <laughs> T will fall ever be T. T's everyday outfit consists of her short dress with her diapers. I, I don't know why, but it, it's T. <laughs> T. T, I think you need to put some pants on, okay T? You know, like like some um, a skirt up under there. Thank you. Thank you very much, T. Yeah. T's got this. Matter of fact, let me close up. So T actually has these glasses going on with blue eyes. She looks pretty nice with that hair. Okay. So her formal outfit is this. I feel like her formal is her school outfit, but it works. This is her sleepwear. Her party clothes. Which seems like something T would put on. Her sleepwear, well, swimming wear. T-T-Y. Her swimming wear is gonna just do this. Because, yeah. We have T's legendary this hot outside outfit. Her, it's cold outside out. There. Okay. Next up, we have Luca Krasarian. He's just a guy that stays at our house, uh, at our place. T is also a inquisitive, so she likes to find things. Um, he is actually independent. So he likes to do things on his own. His outfit, I'm not even going to screw all the way around it. I'm just going to show you the front of it. Clothes. You only actually need to see everything, but yeah. Okay, a close up on his face. His eyes is kind of gray silver, and his hair is black. Okay, on to Max. Max is also a charmer. Yeah, like, like that wouldn't have happened. Max has greenish eyes with his little reddish brown hair. Looks really nice with that on. This is his summer. I'm not gonna scroll through these last two either. <laughs> Formal. His sleepwear. Max, why are you wearing a girl's top? Yeah! Oh, okay. well, Max does what Max wants to. His party outfit, his swimming outfit, his side outside outfit, and his coat outfit. And I can actually turn this one around. It's pretty nice for a coat outfit. The other two's back isn't as enjoyable as that one. Okay, next we have Vic. Vic is the cat. Well, more like the kitten. 
Happy little itty bitty Vic. Vic is playful, fluffy, and talkative. like you. Ew. I don't know why, but this is too much like Vic. Looking like a raccoon. <laughs> Vic is a Turkish Angora, which I specifically like to call Turkish Raccoon. Cat. Yes, Vic. This is your cat. This is your kitty. You see? Just like you wanted him. With a little bit of more touch to it. So, you can sit down. Stand up. He's so cute, though. Or lay down. I think I did a good job on this cat. And that will be the last of my Sims 4 household. I've already saved this, so I don't need to save this again. And in the next uh, upcoming episodes, you will actually get to see the playthrough of Sims, where we live, the type of house that we got, and the start of an adventure, so that's how I'm going to be streaming it. I'm going to be streaming it as an uh, adventure. Something fun and interesting. And we get to watch things burn, most likely. Right. Uh, see you next time, and this is the end of my little introduction on all of the sims that I have on here. So everybody can see the so-called sims that I designed. Alright, peace out everybody.